Hello, welcome to the next episode in making Terraria in Python. Today we're going to be covering some basic world generation. So for this, we're going to be using the open simplex library. However, I thought I would go ahead and show you a simple example of how you can do it without that. And then we'll get into how we're going to be properly doing it. So first, we're going to be importing the random module that comes with Python. So import random. And then you want to go down to this method we created and left blank, this gen world method. And what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be generating a height map. And this height map is going to correspond to the height of each column column of blocks in our world. So if we make this height map 20 blocks wide, then our world will be 20 blocks wide. And each uh, number in that list uh, that we create will correspond to the max height of that column. So let's go ahead and create this. So what we'll do is we'll do um, height map, spell height map correct. Okay, height map equals an empty list. And then what we'll do is we'll do 4y in range, and then I'm just gonna make it 20 for now. And then height map dot append, and inside of the parentheses, we want to append a random number. So random dot random int. And this takes in the low and the high, uh, and it is inclusive. So one and five, and that should create a list of 20 random numbers between that range. So now that we have that, what we simply need to do is create a two dimensional, um, a two dimensional uh, for loop that will just loop through and create the appropriate blocks. So what we'll do here is we'll do four X in range, and this range will be the length of height map. So we're looping through all the X positions and then we'll do for Y in range. And this will be the height uh, map at X. So we're looping through however many, um, whatever the value is for that, that column that we're looping through. Um, that is what, how many times we're looping through this. So now with that, we will simply create a new entity, give it self dot sprites, self dot blocks. Um, for the groups, we're putting it in sprites and blocks because we want it to be visible and we want it to have collision. And then for the surface, we'll just do self dot atlas textures at grass. And then for the position, we'll just simply do X and Y. And make sure that you're calling gen world at the end of your scene class. Let's go ahead and run it. And you'll actually not see anything. And the reason is because we forgot to, I forgot to put the tile set offset or the tile size offset. So let me fix that real quick. So it's gonna be X times tile size and then y times tile size here. Um, so we were only moving over by one there. So here you can see the world, uh, but you'll notice that it's upside down. And the reason is because the way that we, um, the way that we generate worlds, we generate it from a top down. Um, so we start at the top left corner and work our way down. Um, but we wanna do this inverted. So the very simple way to do this would be to take this max value five and then just subtract whatever y is from that. So we'll create a new y, we'll do y offset equals five minus um, the Y. And then we'll replace the Y in here with the Y offset. And then we can go back to main and run it. Now you'll notice a different problem. It's uh, too high up. So that's not good because um, we want it to be down here. So simple way to fix that would be to simply um, add a value. So I'll just add like 10 to this. That was definitely too much, but you get the idea. Let's just add like six. All right, that's not too bad. Uh, now, the problem is that this is pretty hideous. And as you can see, I can't even jump over these random peaks. So that's not very good. So let's go ahead and fix how this is generating by using the open simplex library to generate our height map. So for this, let's go ahead and get this all working. So here we will go and import our open simplex library. So up here in the scene, We'll go to this and we don't need random anymore. We can get rid of that. We can do from open simplex. Oh yeah, sorry. We have to actually install it first. My apologies. Let's go to terminal, new terminal. And what we'll do here is we'll just do pip install open simplex. And for me, it's gonna say requirement already satisfied, but for you, it's going to install it. So now with this, we can go up here. We can do from open simplex, import open simplex. Um, so there we go. Now all we have to do is just use it over here. So what we'll do is we'll create a new variable and this will be our noise generator and it'll be equal to an open simplex. It'll be an object of the open simplex class. And this takes in one argument, which is the seed. And uh, this seed is like how Minecraft seeds work, where if you use the exact same seed, as long as your other settings are the same, you will have the exact same world every time. So this makes uh, lo like loading worlds very, very easy. So let's just go ahead and do seed equals, and then I'm just gonna put a random number in here. It does not matter. Picture doesn't start with zero though. 
And now, and all we have to do is just replace this random int with an actual value that we generate from this. And this has a ton of different um, random values that we'll get into a little bit more in depth later when we get into um, different biome generations and stuff. But here uh, we're going to do a noise value, and this is going to be equal to the noise generator dot noise two, and this is going to take in uh, the y. And we're just going to multiply it by four for now. And then for the uh, float with the Y float here, we're going to put zero. And then for the actual height we want to append, we'll do height equals an int. And in this int, we'll put as, uh, another parentheses um, and we'll put the noise value, add one to it. And then we want to multiply this by the height value plus um, another value here. And so for this, what we're going to do is um, we are going to take um, some other we're going to take maybe let's do it, it's all preference here let's try 4 plus 30 we could try that and this is where you can just tweak around with different settings and height map that append height there let's go ahead and run it and that's definitely too many blocks so let's go ahead and go back we don't need 30 we need like five and we can go here and there you go it's a little bit better um, it's not perfect for sure but as you can see the the generation is a little bit more natural and as you can see we also um, can't go very far because we don't have a camera setup yet but that will be the goal in the next tutorial but let's go ahead and fix how this is all grass this is not it's not good to have all grass here so what we'll do is we'll basically just check do if y uh, equals height map at x minus one i believe then what we'll do is we'll ch change the texture. So if by default, we'll do the texture is equal to the self.atlas textures at, and then I think it's dirt. We have a dirt one, right? Do we? We should have a dirt one in here. Oh, we don't. Let's go ahead and fix that. Let's just create a new one and call it dirt. And the dirt is in the position. It's right below the, the grass. So what we can do is uh, we can just put it one down. Okay. And then in here, now we can use it so the, by default the texture is dirt but if the y equals the height map at x minus one then the texture will be equal to self.atlas textures at grass and then here instead of directly putting in the texture we will simply put in this new variable that changes and if we run it hopefully we didn't get it backwards there you go got some simple grass going here and you can use the same pattern with uh, things like stone so let's go to the scene here and we'll do one more check and this will be like if y is let's say less than three then or let's do actually since we have like a lot let's do less than 10 and then we'll do texture equals self dot atlas textures at stone go to main run it and that was definitely way too high but <laughs> let's just go ahead and do actually it's not it's better to use the height map as a relative one so height map at x minus five so we're saying if if the current block is less than five blocks or if it's more than five blocks down because it'll be less than the height map at x minus five then it will be stone so there you go we have some simple stone and our te the texture is jacked up i will fix that for sure but um there you go we have some simple stone generation here okay so let's go ahead and change the scale a little bit to make it look a little nicer so instead of putting a four for this um, y times the scale we'll put something like 0 0.05 so that's why we're having those random spikes is because it was too um, high of a scale so there we go that looks way better <laughs> now we have some proper terrain generation um, and in the next video we will get into how to get a camera working so we can follow our player and have a larger world um, but yeah that's basic terrain generation in um, python with uh, open simplex library thank you very much for watching um, if you have any questions, make sure to join my Discord. I'll be answering questions there. Um, otherwise, consider supporting me on Patreon. I'd appreciate it. Thank you very much. Have a good day. See ya.